advances in hydrogen fuel cell technology. The project forms part of the Department of Science and Technology's research program, Hydrogen SA. This is how hydrogen fuel cell technology works. Fuel cells take the energy produced by a chemical reaction in the presence of a catalyst, such as platinum, and convert it into usable electrical power. The only byproducts are water vapor and heat. Solar panels help to generate power. The program manager at Northwest University, which is one of government's five partners in the project, explains. At this school we have an electrolyzer and the fuel cell the electrolyzer produces hydrogen stored at low pressure in the tanks and the fuel cell then uses that hydrogen to produce electrical energy. And the power for the electrolyzer is obtained from, PV system, from a PV system that we have on, on the school. The school no longer relies on ESCOM for electricity. Previously, sometimes the school would be without electricity for almost a month. And now, because the sun is almost there every day, so it's history now uh, talking about problem of electricity. We are able now learners to learn, learners they are able to talk, learners they are, they are able to be teach in terms of using these uh, resources like internet, uh, using the tablets. Similar generators have also been launched in other parts of the country. Compared to systems or, or situations where you have a school really remote and they don't have power, this will be cheaper than putting up an ESCOM line all the way to the school. Hydrogen South Africa's other innovations include a tricycle and component manufacturing line.